Hi, it's Serena from Festival Bookkeeping. Making a really quick video today looking at customising your invoices in Clinico and customising the email message that goes um, out with your invoice when you send them off to your patients. So why do we want to customise these things? I've got two really good reasons for you. The first is that you can absolutely improve your business cash flow if you can speed up how quickly your patients pay you. You need to make it crystal clear so that payment, patients can just go in and pay you really easily. If they have to um, open up your email and then they're closing it again because they're not actually sure when the deadline to pay it is, or they have to go chasing down through your other correspondence just to get your bank account details, uh, it's holding up uh, payment for you and it's also increasing the risk that they will actually forget to pay your invoice and then you have to waste time chasing them up for payment um, and we know that's not not much fun at all. So the second reason that may not be immediately ob obvious um, is that sending an invoice to a patient is actually a touch point. So every touch point between you and your business, you, your business and your patient, is an opportunity for you to improve your customer experience. So improved customer experience gets you ahead of your competitors. And ultimately this can mean that you can you know, charge more. So I'm just gonna quote uh, one of my favorite small business authors and his name's Andrew Griffiths. Um, and he sums it up by saying that transactions, bad, experiences, good. So really 10 minutes spent improving your invoice email templates and your invoice templates is pretty much a no-brainer. So let's jump in and have a look how we do it. I'm coming down to the settings section of Clinico and I'm scrolling down to the finance section. So here, this is where our invoice templates sit. And the first box that I wanna change is this one here, the extra business information box. And this is where I'm going to add my bank account details and I'm going to add my payment terms. So this particular uh, practice version of Clinico I've called Adelaide Physiotherapy Centre, which is a made up name. Uh, now that is the name that I'm, a shoot, uh, I'm using as my business bank account name. So sometimes your business bank account name isn't the same as your business name. So it's nice to include the business bank account name on there. Uh, in Australia we have BSBs and then we have an account number and I'm coming down a couple of lines to make it stand out more and adding my payment terms so payment required 14 days from date of invoice so obviously you use the payment terms for your particular invoice it doesn't have to be 14 days uh, I'm just going to tick this box as well and I'm coming down the next section that we want to change is the actual email message that goes with our invoices and I'm coming down to this one here. So emailing an outstanding invoice to a patient. So as you can see at the moment it says hi, attached is your invoice from, and then thank you and business name. So really nothing flashed there, nothing personal, does nothing to improve your customer experience. So I'm gonna get rid of this middle part and type in something a little bit nicer. here and actually get Clinico to auto populate my invoice number. So that's popped that in nicely there. Okay, so now we've got, hi, I hope you will. Please find attached invoice number. Have a great day, kind regards, and then the business name. If I click on here, view sample, I can see what that looks like on the patient side. So that's a lot nicer. Uh, and you can go your hardest with that one and really personalize it to um, match it to, more to your business personality. Um, uh, as you like, you don't have to use the one, the wording that I've used. And you need to remember to come all the way down, 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 and we have to click on save invoice settings, um, otherwise it won't remember what we've just um, edited there. So two really great reasons to go in and customise both your invoice template and your invoice email template. Um, I hope this has been valuable and thank you for watching.